Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at the Samsung T5 SSD. This is a 500 gigabyte SSD drive that you can take with you as portable memory. It's available for Windows and Mac and the box I have is in Japanese unfortunately but I'm putting up the pictures that you need so that you can have the information about it and so I shall do that now. There we go, you can pause the video if you want and have a read through there. Okay, let's get back to it. So on the side it's got 3.1 USB Gen 2. This is the new one for 2019. This has been out for a couple of years now but this is the new one. And on the bottom there as you can see 22nd of January 2019 made in Korea. Now from what I've been hearing from other people this is about 20% faster than the original one that they released a few years ago and so I shall be testing that myself as well and seeing just how fast the speeds are uh, but I've got high hopes for it um, I've had one of these in the past and uh, but they're very good right so here you've got the instruction manual and it gives you some information about the drive basically it's pretty much a plug-and-play drive so you don't need to worry too much and it does come with both cables. I'll just give you a few images there of the book. Okay, so warranty information and quick overview of it. So this is the drive itself. It's very, very, very small. It's 74.9 millimeters wide. And it is 57.2 millimeters across and then the thickness is 10.4 so it's a nice small drive very useful you can put it in your pocket um, I've got a small little bag that I'll put it in and it comes with the standard 3.1 USB to Type-C and then a Type-C to Type-C so you can use this if you're plugging it into something like an Android phone like the Samsung S10 Plus you can plug it into that and connect it and transfer files backwards and forwards that way um, I'm hoping that it will work with the iPad Pro 11 inch um, but so far I haven't had much luck with connecting hard drives and SSDs to that but I will test it out and let you know if it works later on right so this is the download speed it takes six minutes to download 16 gigabytes which is incredible here's a few little images and don't forget to subscribe see you next time